How's it going everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk a bit about my approach when I draw realistic images such as the one you are seeing on screen. I get a lot of questions from people asking me to upload some real time footage of the drawing process and so here in this video I'll be transitioning from both time lapse to real time as I go ahead and try and break down some techniques and give you some overall advice. So if you'd like to see some more real time footage for this drawing then feel free to head over to the Patreon page the link will be in the description. So first of all when I start a drawing I approach it differently depending on what it is that I am drawing. For example if I'm working from imagination and creating something without a reference image then I'll most likely start from one point and slowly try and work things out as I go and as I'm doing that I'm most likely drafting out some rough outlines and planning the drawing simultaneously. And so I'll probably end up doing another video similar to this one except it will be aimed more towards creating drawings from imagination because I really do treat them as two separate things. You have to approach them both differently or at least I do and you always have to consider different things and each one of them requires certain skills. Obviously imaginative stuff requires an understanding of the fundamentals and the realistic stuff is more focused on rendering. But going back to the subject of this video which is about the realistic stuff. For this drawing which you can see on screen I had a reference image to work from and so what that means is a lot of the decision making is already taken care of and the main focus here is on creating an accurate representation of the image through different textures and lines and turns and shades all of the things which make up a drawing like this. And so those are the things which you need to pay attention to, with the priority being on texture. At least that's what I think is the priority when you want a drawing to look realistic. There is another important aspect that you need to get right though, which is the proportions. So making sure everything you draw is at the correct scale and in the right place. And this can be the hardest part of the drawing process, and unfortunately it's the part which normally comes right at the beginning. And for beginners it can be really difficult to get the proportions right and if you don't get them right then the drawing will never look like the subject regardless of the rendering and the time that you spend on details and texturing. There are however a few methods which can make it easier like using a grid and I think I did a tutorial on the grid method but it pretty much involves creating a grid on both the reference image and your drawing surface and then you can use that as a guide and create some outlines. Or an alternative which might be a bit more advanced is to create a rough preliminary sketch and if you do this freehand you want to take your time and carefully judge where you create these outlines, always comparing it with the image you are working from. Now in this example on screen I don't really do any of these things, instead I'm starting at one point and rendering all of the drawing from that point in detail which is quite an uncommon way of working but it's something that I prefer. And I never used to draw like this when I first started but over time with practice you'll become more confident with your own judgement and that's important for what I'm doing here because I'm observing the image and making sure the marks that I create are at the right size and in the right place. In some sense I'm going from one mark to the other and over time this creates the image. Normally though it might make sense to draft out a preliminary sketch first and make sure your proportions are accurate before you get rendering in detail. So in terms of starting the drawing and where I actually start depends on the reference image. For example with this one I wanted to get the main subject drawn out first so I started drawing in this trooper followed by the background and then everything else. As I draw this I'm always referring back to the image that I'm working from and making sure that the dimensions of the lines that I create are always accurate and it can be a slow and tedious process but soon as I'm just rendering the whole drawing from the start I'm able to work forward without having to go back and correct what I've previously done. Sometimes I might just have to go back and darken some areas but that's pretty much it. It looks kind of cool in time lapse when I draw in this way but um, for beginners it might be best just to make sure that you have the outlines there before um, rendering in detail. Again, it doesn't really matter what the detail and the texture looks like. If the proportions are correct, then it won't look like the subject that you are trying to draw. 
Now when it comes to working from an existing image, there will most likely be all kinds of different textures and details that are in that image that you will need to recreate. And there are various techniques which I use to create different textures, and I'll be doing some more tutorials on the subject, but you can get a few different results by changing a few things, such as the pressure you apply with the pencil, you'll be able to achieve a range of light to dark shades just by adjusting the amount of pressure. Another way to get different results is to change the motion of the pencil in order to create different marks and a drawing is made up of various pencil marks which come together and form the image so with practice you'll begin to figure out what kinds of marks you should make to represent certain textures and you can also do a lot of layering and add different pencil textures on top of each other to get different results. There's a lot of possibilities and over time you'll be able to work out the best way to draw something. I've also got the image that I was working from on screen here so that you can see it in comparison to the drawing. But that's pretty much my approach when I create realistic images like this. Now I'll go ahead and talk a bit about the equipment that I use and for this drawing I'm using a Uniball Crew Toga Mechanical Pencil and I enjoy using this to draw because I find it more convenient not having to sharpen a pencil all the time. I'm also using some 2B lead with this and 2B is a nice grade to work with because you can get a good range of different shades. I still draw with pencils sometimes but I rarely find myself using all the grades of pencils in one drawing. I don't really see the benefit in changing from a 2B to a 3B in hopes of creating a darker shade because it wouldn't make much of a difference plus it would take a lot of time to be swapping pencils all of the time. I've also done a video explaining pencil grades if you want to have a look at that. Now the paper that I'm working on here is Bristol board and it's what I normally use when I draw. It's a good smooth surface to work on and lets you apply a lot of pressure without having to worry about the paper tearing or getting ruined in any way. It's also better to work on a smooth surface like this compared to the textured kind of paper that you can get. But that might come down to personal preference and likewise with the materials that you want to work with. But that's the equipment that I use for most of the drawings. I try and keep it minimal so that I don't have to carry around a load of equipment and in terms of an eraser I just use a Mono Zero Micro eraser which is good for accuracy. It's also useful for creating textures in the drawing and you'll most likely see more of that in the tutorial soon. But that's pretty much my approach and some advice when it comes to creating a realistic drawing like this. I'll be creating a lot more content surrounding drawing on this channel. I'll be covering different aspects such as realistic drawing and also some of the fundamentals which are essential for when it comes to the more imaginative and original stuff. I'm going to put some real-time footage at the end of this video but yeah be sure to subscribe with the notifications on and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like. I have some more announcements coming soon for other content and uh, yeah other than that thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one.